Hi right, y'all, <clears throat> welcome back out to the range with me today. And what I've got, I've got the SIG P365. I bought this a uh, little over two months ago to be my EDC, my everyday carry. And for the ones that's watched my channel, you've probably seen the video where I went in depth and talked about this little pistol and uh, shot several rounds to it. And before I made that first video, I'd brought it over and shot uh, uh, in the ballpark of 150 rounds of full metal jacket and out of the 150 rounds I had maybe three or four failures to extract or eject the uh, spent casings so I decided I'd make a video and share it with you guys and uh, what I done uh, I, I started shooting full metal jackets and the thing run pretty good for quite a bit if you'll go back and check my channel if you've not seen that video you can find that video and watch the first one I made on this and uh, when I got into the defensive rounds, the more I shot, the worse it got. It wasn't ejecting the, the spent casings. And so after that video, I sent it back. I took it to the gun store that I bought it at, and I was going to send it back to SIG and have them to check it out. Now, everything I've heard about these 365s and a lot of comments and people I know uh, swear by them, said they're real nice little pistols. But this one... As many times as it failed to eject the spent casings, I wouldn't trust it. So I took it back to the store that, where I bought it from, and uh, it took them several weeks. I, I guess right at a month before SIG would even send them a melon, uh, uh, a melon slip to where they could send it back. And once, it, once SIG took it back, they kept it for, I guess, right at a month. And guys... I just wanted to, I've got it back, and a disclaimer, when I got it back, I didn't clean it or anything. Uh, what I done was I brought it over and put 40 rounds of full metal jackets to it, and it run flawless. And according to SIG, the paper they sent back with it, they exchanged the barrel and they exchanged the extractor and the extractor spring, and the 40 rounds I ran through it did run good. But what I'm going to do today... I thought I'd make a video, kind of give an update. I've got some full metal jackets today uh, that I was going to run through it, and a little bit of defensive ammo. What I'm going to run is this uh, Federal 9mm Luger 115 grain full metal jacket. And I was going to put a couple of uh, magazines of that through there. And guys, we'll see what it will do right there. Y'all leave me a comment and tell me if any of you all that may watch this video has had any trouble with the... Uh, with the 365, P365. And guys, I had another comment uh, on my video that one person said I may have been riding the slide. I double checked that to make sure, cause that's what I thought. I said, I, well, small as it is, I could be riding the slide, but guys, I checked it and that wasn't a problem. But anyway, like I said, SIG said they exchanged the barrel, exchanged the extractor and the extractor spring and that being said let's send some down range and see if it fouls up or if it runs or what it does right here guys well first magazine it run flawless i don't know what i'm trying to take my earplugs out for but it run flawless that's all i want to do is just check it and see if it will run the ammo. You can't trust something that won't, that you can't depend on. And I would have to run several hundred rounds through this little thing to ever trust it after I once had the problem with it. But the guy that being said, we got us another bag of this full metal jacket. This is a nice little pistol. I mean, even though it's small, it feels good, got good grip texture. I mean, it's just nice. It's got the tritium sights. I mean, it's just all around nice. Of course, this one does have the thumb safety on it. Ambidextrous thumb safety. But uh, some people like them, some don't. But that, let's send us another down range right here, guys, and see, see what happens right here. Got a cinch in tighter than that, don't we? One thing about the little thing, it is choppy in the hands, though, but that's to be expected with it, guys. Let us get some uh, 
some uh, defensive ammo loaded up and we'll send some of that down range. So far, so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing right here, guys. Y'all leave a comment and tell me what you think about the P365. And uh, guys, let's get us some of that loaded up and we'll send it down range. Okay, y'all, I got us a mag loaded up with defensive stuff right here. And what we got is this uh, Sig Sire Elite Defense. It's a 124 grain JHP. That's what I got in the first magazine. We're going to load it up, send it down range. We're doing good so far. Y'all hold right in there and let's see what she'll do. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think, guys. Let's send it down range and see what happens right here. Run it flawless. Run it flawless. And guys, what I got next is this silver tip 9mm Luger 147 grain defensive JHP. That's what I got right here next. The silver tips. Guys, if y'all ain't seen the first video I did on that on this little pistol where I went in depth on it right there, check my channel out. I tell you what, I really like these tritium sights on this thing. And I like the way it feels, you know. I mean, it's small and it's a little choppy when you're shooting it, but now I really like it. I believe I would really like to be able to trust this for my EDC. Uh, guys, I sure would. That being said, let's send these down range and see what we can do. Well, there you have it. Cleared them out. I see I run 40 rounds of full metal jackets without cleaning it when I first got it back. And I have run 40 rounds of defensive ammo today, plus uh, 20 rounds of full metal jackets, so it's 60 and 40. That's 100 rounds I put through it, if my math is correct. But anyway, that's 100 rounds I've put through it since I've got it back, and it's done good. If you're not good. subscribed to the channel and you'd like to see more of this kind of content, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. And remember that God loves you. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And he gave, he gave. Now you've got to receive, you know, if you've not received him. It's just like at Christmas time when you get a gift. The gift ain't no good unless you receive it. And so if we receive that free gift that God gave us in his only begotten son, he died on the cross, he shed his blood, on the third day he was resurrected from the dead. And me and you can have hope in this life and we can have hope beyond this life if we will repent of our sins and turn to Jesus, ask him into our heart and forgiveness. And guys, we can have this life, we can have eternal life until the next time, stay strong and stay involved and get out and vote when the opportunity's open. And guys, let us never let down. And I always stand up, stand for what we believe in. I stand for what I believe in. I stand for what I believe in. I don't care where I'm at. I stand on the biblical principles. I stand on what I believe in politically. A lot of people don't want to hear that stuff, but I stand for what I believe in. And I want to be a voice for what I believe in. We all need to do it together, guys. Until the next time, may God bless you.